Over the years, many people have asked me for details about how to spawn archerfish. Unfortunately, when we did spawn archerfish, cameras were cameras and phones were phones. These days, cameras are phones. Quality cameras weren't available to me at the time that we did the spawning. Unfortunately, all I can show you is what's here in this video. We were not able to get an egg sample from the females because the vent was too small to insert our catheter. Some of the new very fine tubes that are used these days for other fish might be suitable for getting an egg sample. What we did was we could see that some of the fish had swollen abdomens. These we assumed were females with eggs. For the males it was relatively easy. What we describe as a running male is a male that when you squeeze the abdomen gently stroking towards the vent from the middle of the body, a small amount of white milt was visible, so we knew we had viable males. That's really about all I can tell you, apart from the pictures that you can see here. You can see which hormone we used, the needles that we used, and the spawning tanks that we used for the fish to spawn in. They spawn naturally after the injection and the eggs were pelagic, that is, they floated freely in the tank. We used the same spawning tanks that we use for our perch, our silver perch, jade perch, even our bass, 
and our golden perch. The eggs were kept in suspension by the bubbles in the tanks. Other videos on my channel show this process. We injected the fish with Overprim. Overprim seems to work on most fish. Once the larvae were free swimming, we fed them on freshly hatched Artemia. After we'd held them for a while in our tanks and feeding them Artemia, we put them into a large earth plankton pond of approximately a quarter of an acre. Unfortunately, we didn't get very many fingerlings that we could sell back from this pond. That's because we were able to observe the little kingfisher bird taking the archer fish off the surface. Because the archer fish are surface fish, they were easy targets for the kingfisher bird. Probably best to raise these right through to aquarium size indoors in tanks and feeding them on natural feed and then perhaps moving them across to a dry surface feed, even flake food. In an aquarium, they readily accept flake food. I hope this video has answered some of the questions. I'm frequently asked these questions and to save time, just have a look through this video. This is all I can tell you. I don't know any more than what you can see in these pictures. I'm sorry that more details aren't there and that eggs aren't there, but at least you've got as much information as I have now. Thanks for watching. Please click like and really, I'd like you to become one of the followers of my channel. So click notifications so that you'll find out when I introduce a new video to my channel.